Merry Christmas! In my part of the world we celebrate Christmas on the 24th with uh, good food and opening of presents. If you haven't been naughty, that is. In the preparation of this video I've searched through 386,353 pages of retro gaming magazines using my own retro game magazine search tool. The keywords have been Christmas, Yuletide, Christmas carols, Christmas songs, Christmas music and etc. So let's uh, look at some typing Christmas programs, Christmas demos with music and some very nice Christmassy ads that I found. We will uh, touch the week 20 by accident, I might add, the C64 and finally the C128, my personal favorite. So let's get started. Back in the day I remember spending hours ty typing in programs from uh, books or magazines on my trusted C128. We'll start off by looking at Run Magazine in the December 1984 issue. And I have to say that if one didn't know it was December and soon the Yuletide, one would never be able to tell from the front page of this magazine. Well, on page 164, uh, we have this article, uh, Commodore Christmas Carol by William E. Forrester. Uh, the following pages uh, there are some listings for some uh, Christmas music so yeah there are in total four Christmas songs and uh, yeah let's try it out and see if you spot my huge blunder before I did so here we are typing along at uh, 16 times the speed of uh, typing and as you can see, there are a lot of uh, numbers to make this uh, Christmas music flow into your living room. So let's uh, list the program and uh, we are done. So let's uh, fire it up. Mm. There is no sound, but the program seems to be running fine. This is uh, just like back in the day when you finished typing in the listing and nothing works. Consulting the magazine though, I get a small hint in the beginning of the article. Uh, before you go Christmas caroling, get in tune with your wick. <laughs> so it uh, turns out that this listing is for the wick 20 and not the C64. So let's uh, save it to tape and try to load it on the wick 20 instead. Christmas card for the C128. This uh, issue of Commodore Powerplay magazine is from January 1986. And the program listing we will look at uh, can be found on page 55 and 57 for those of you that want to follow along. The listing is for a Christmas card with some Christmas music. The reason I use the emulator here and not my trusted C128 is that my PC keyboard is a bit more familiar and because I don't have a video capture solution at hand. Always remember to save your work when you're done typing. Uh, my preferable medium is of course, like any other European back in the day, to tape. This is easily done by attaching an empty tape to the emulator and using the save command in the basic prompt. This also allows me to actually load it on my real C128 later on, if I so wish. Researching this episode, I found quite a few ads for Christmas shows hosted by Commodore or Atari. I never had the pleasure to attend one myself, so if you did, please share your experiences in the comments. Here we see an ad for the Commodore Christmas show in London, November 1990. It's going to be big and loud. Apparently, Atari also wanted to be part of the fun, and this ad is for the Atari user show. November 1988, also in London, because Christmas just wouldn't be Christmas without the Atari user show. 
After only 45 minutes of typing, we're finally done. So let's load it back from tape and test it out. So here we have the tree. It's uh, looking quite good actually. Mm, some snow maybe. It's actually working. It's nice. A star at the top and some decorations. Let's see if there is some sound eventually. And there we go. Exactly how I remember it from back in the day. Uh, so uh, off camera I did some uh, testing and figured out if I just removed the uh, line 980 which is supposed to uh, draw snow uh, then the demo actually runs until the music starts so let's see if uh, we can hear some sounds To finish off this Christmas episode, we will have a look at a tad more professional Christmas card by Virgin Games. This was described in Zap Magazine issue 8 uh, from December 1985. I couldn't find it online, however, uh, as a last resort I therefore started to look at all Christmas related content on the C64 scene database or csdb.tk. There I actually found it, or what looks to be it anyways. So let's load it up, and to all of you, from little me, a merry, merry Christmas.